Hello. In today's class, let us learn how to find derivative of cortex by first principle method. Let us consider the function let f of x equal to cortex. Cortex can be written as cos x divided by sin x. Now, this is the value of f of x. f of x plus h will be equal to cot of x plus h. That is nothing but cos of x plus h divided by sin of x plus h. So, derivative of the function y is equal to limit as h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This is equal to limit as h tending to 0. f of x plus h value is cos of x plus h divided by sin of x plus h minus f of x. f of value is f of x value is cos x divided by sin x. Here whole divided by h is there. So, this will be equal to limit as h tending to 0. Taking the LCM to the terms, we will get cos of x plus h into sin x minus cos x into sin of x plus h whole divided by sin of x plus h here, sin x here. And we have h also. So, I will bring this to the term along with this. So, this will be equal to limit as h tending to 0. Which is in the form sin a into cos b minus cos a into sin b. In the place of a, we have x. In the place of b, we have x plus h. The total formula will become sin of a minus b. So, sin of a minus b divided by h into sin x into sin of x plus h. Here, x, x will get cancelled together. We left with limit as h tending to 0 sin of minus h will be left divided by h into sin x into sin of x plus h. This is nothing but limit as h tending to 0 sin minus theta is nothing but minus sin theta divided by h into sin x sin of x plus h. Okay. Now, this can be simplified as, see here, this sin of theta divided by theta as theta tending to 0 will be equal to 1. So, this will left with minus 1 as we apply limit to the term. And again here sin of x plus h is there. The h value will tend to 0 as h tending to 0. So, h value will become 0, right? This will be equal to minus 1 into 1 divided by sin x into sin x. Right. So, this is nothing but minus 1 divided by sin square x. 1 divided by sin square x is cosecant square x. Therefore, d by dx of here function cortex is equal to minus cosecant square x. Okay. So, this is the term here. Very important result. Okay. Let us continue with one more example in the next class.